Hi, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you are doing really, really well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of um, oracle cards for additional information. Okay, the first two cards, the awareness for the week. Okay, so we start with the two of pentacles. And in the two of pentacles, you see the man here kind of skip dancing and uh, uh, trying to find the balance. He's trying to keep those two coins from falling. And we can see the infinity symbol here, which suggests that, you know, life is always about juggling things, obligations, commitments, responsibilities, financial obligations. How do we make it all work for ourselves? Some weeks are better than others. So this is a week for you to think about how you're doing in terms of juggling everything on your plate, um, how you're fitting in work against play, uh, how your finances, what type of shape are they in? So it's really being mindful of this delicate dance that we do to try to stay in balance. So that is your awareness to begin with for the week. And then we have a sense here of the Page of Pentacles. And with the Page of Pentacles, we're looking at this youthful energy. So it could be someone that you're working with. It could be someone within your family who's seeking to, uh, seeking to learn new things because really the Pentacles, it's about finances, it's about money, it's about career. But mostly it's studying and it's acquiring knowledge and it's the desire to do so. So you are motivated to want to learn something. And so maybe you're choosing to be excited and to learn something new. Maybe you're doing uh, studies or research on how to improve your career path or to learn a new skill or a new hobby. So the Page of Pentacles brings forth this idea that you're going to apply yourself and be devoted and work hard to learning this new part of your life, this new aspect, um, and perhaps a new opportunity that's going to work perhaps to help you find better balance or to improve the overall picture. So now let's choose what we have for guidance. So interesting, here we have another Pentacles card. So there's a real focus on career, money, resources, and your time. This is a, uh, this is an expert. This man's an expert building this cathedral, but he's not doing it alone. He's doing it presumably with help from these folks. And so it's, it's people who work together to reach a common goal. People who are good at what they do and are very capable and highly skilled and are willing to put in the time and the energy to do a super job. Why? Because this is going to be a lasting structure. It's going to be a testament to what you're building. So within your life, you may be focusing this week or you may be gaining more skills when it comes to your career or an area of your life that you take seriously. So if you have a regular job, but at home you rush home to make things to sell on Etsy, you may be learning uh, new skills or talents to apply to what you truly love. So there's a sense here of, of working together with others to reach this goal but also a focus on your skills and your abilities to create something beautiful. Some of you may be working with your hands. Some of you may be getting uh, good advice from other experts to help you. And for those that are working very hard and creating and building and working well with others, 
You have to be patient. Sometimes the reward doesn't come immediately. It may come as a result of your work that people notice you. So another piece of guidance here, interestingly enough, is the Seven of Wands. And wands are about fire and passion and desires and willpower and enthusiasm. And here the man is batting down or protecting himself from these folks with the wand below. He has the advantage. He is elevated while they are, again, below. So he's in a good position. But this is a situation where you may have to defend yourself. You may have to de defend your actions that if you have been making time to study or to learn new things, it may be pulling you in, away from other areas of your life, i.e. relationships or such. And so you may have to stand your ground. You may have to defend uh, what you're doing. And so be prepared to defend what you're doing, you know, what's behind the scenes in your life. Interesting. So let's see what we have for possible outcomes. Okay, so we have the Hermit, Major Arcana. And with the Hermit, this is a, a message to you to maybe pull back, to make and to create some time for yourself. That uh, that lantern perhaps would be best served, shined within to think about what's going on within your life, to assess what's happening. Where are you right now? Where do you plan to be? But it's removing yourself from maybe a chaotic or a very busy situation. And it's giving yourself the gift of time where you can meditate, where you can journal, where you can contemplate, where maybe you need to talk to someone to get a good sense of what's going on. So I always see the hermit as a positive thing because to know thyself is, is truly uh, beneficial for you. And so when you get a sense of where you're coming from, and here there's just a lot of focus here on resources, on energies devoted to all the things you're having to do, and maybe adding on top of it and learning new skills or new hobbies or taking new things into your life that the balance needs to be taken care of. So the hermit is examine and, and search within for answers that can help you find perhaps a better balance in what you're doing that can result in um, better opportunities at work or as you work with others. And then Here's this moment of introspection, and then we have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is about, uh, he's, he's jumping right in, he's just getting right involved. And so it's movement, and with swords, we're looking at air energy. And there's a sense here of, of looking for truth, looking for clarity in situations of getting right in, perhaps to defend an ideal, to defend an action, to defend someone close to you. The Knight of Swords is not holding back and on the quest is moving forward despite the wind knocking back the trees or the gray clouds. He's determined to get in there to provide a sense of action, clarity, strong communication, with the Knight of Swords, he's using his intelligence and his reason to approach problems and to strategize and to solve problems through intellect. With this Knight, however, he's also moving, in, moving fast as well. So there's, I think, a combination of this strong impulsive desire to get into the game or to get into the next phase, but you're also relying on your smarts too, and the facts and, and knowing what you're getting yourself into. So interesting cards. Let's get a meditation point or focus area for the week.
crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. So healing and connecting. There's a lot going on here. Healing, collecting, mending, and releasing. So the mending and releasing may come after you have to stand up for yourself, perhaps. The connecting group activities here and the mending can come as a result of the energies that you've put into trying to maintain some type of balance within your life. So crossing bridges, you know, you're crossing the bridge to a better place. And now let's choose a card for spirit or emotional self and get messages. Uh, for that part of your life. Spirit Animal. Thank you, Animal Kingdom, Kingdom, for blessing my path with love. It's simply a nice reminder. Uh, spirit animals, the physical animals that we have within our life, bring us love and unconditional love. And to have that, it, it's very grounding. It's very, uh, it's, what, what's the word I want to say, spiritual, but it's, it's so comforting to have an animal that loves you and that you're able to love and to be responsible for. So spirit animal here of uh, blessing your path with love can never have enough animals. So that's what I would say. And finally, let's choose a card for love and we'll see what we have for you for love. Honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it's important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. So, you know, when you're honest and you're real, people can sense it, people can feel it, and people respond accordingly. And so uh, the authentic self is going to attract like-minded people. So let your real heart show through. Be honest. And even though sometimes when we're honest, we may end up hurting someone's feelings, it's better to do so at that, probably at that point, then to wait because sometimes it can make it worse. So honesty is essential and to speak truthfully and in a loving manner. Any type of message can be delivered in a loving manner. This is what I have for you for the week and I hope that you found something here that resonates with you. If you did, please subscribe like, share, and comment. I'd love to hear from you. I thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and I hope that you have a great week. I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.